Good morning, Captains. I'm Dre Hall. And I'm Malia Lopez. Today is Wednesday, May 4th, and we are coming to you live from Studio 503 with another episode of WK Today. Staff scholarships applications are still available in Room 105. Any Kettering 12th grader att attending a post-secondary school next year should consider completing an application. Students should see Ms. Mr. Burlingame for details. Applications are due completed to Mr. Burlingame in Room 105 by 2 p.m. Friday, May 6th. Seniors, please know that the last day to check out library books is Friday, May 13th, and the last day to return them is May 24th. Senior fines for library books will be forgiven if you return them to the library or the drop-off box in the academic by May 24th. In addition, seniors, if you, if you order graduation announcements with your cap and gown, they will be delivered on Tuesday, May 10th during all lunches. Graduate service will be mailing a postcard to your homes with the balance due if you owe anything. Cast and gowns will be available, available for you to pick up after rehearsal on June 3rd. If you have not ordered a cap and gown yet, please see Ms. Lentz, Ms. Lentz ASAP. Even if you are still wearing someone else's gown, you will still need a cap, a tassel, and a medallion. Please see Ms. Lentz with any graduation questions or concerns. If you are interested in getting involved in leadership at Kettering, consider joining Student Council. Applications are now available in room 105. Please see Mr. Burlingame with any questions. In breaking political news, Ted Cruz dropped out of the political race last night. But before that, our team at WK Today took an in-depth analysis at the two front runners, Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. Well, guys, so far in the presidential election, we've seen some of the top runners pull forward by quite a bit. As of right now, we've got Donald Trump in the lead for Republicans with 845 delegates, claiming we must reduce government spending. Trump has also been saying we shouldn't cut Social Security and we need to limit restrictions on gun control. And I'm sure we've all heard his theory about the wall to stop illegal immigration. And on the Democratic side, we have Hillary Clinton in the lead with 1,944 delegates saying that government should set health care rates and that expanding Obamacare was the way to go. Clinton says that the sale of guns is okay as long as a comprehensive background check is set in place. On her way to leading the polls for Democrats, she also stated that the DACA and DAPA should both continue on. Living deprivation should be allowed while we still provide a pathway to citizenship. I'm Brandon Atkins. And I'm Aaron Miller. Today reporting for WK Today. I'm back to you guys at the news desk. So today, Donald Trump has 1,047 and needs less than 200 more delegates to win outright. And Hillary Clinton has 2,202 and needs 180 more delegates to win. Now let's turn it over to James for sports. Thanks. Please make sure to listen to the end-of-the-day announcements regarding field and weather conditions. <clears throat> Today, boys baseball and girls softball teams take on Lakeland at 4, while boys JV baseball and girls JV softball host Lakeland at 4. Boys lacrosse is at Mott versus Huron Valley. JV plays at 5.30 and varsity plays at 7. Girls lacrosse is at Wald Lake Northern at 7 p.m. Good luck, Captains. In Major League Baseball news, the Detroit Tigers finally put together a win winning streak of five of their last games. They are, clear, they are currently playing in a division series against the Cleveland Indians. The Tigers are second in the Central at 14-11. Also in Tigers news, ace pitcher Justin Verlander recently proposed to his longtime girlfriend Kate Upton. The NFL draft took place last night and in the first round with the 16th pick the Lions selected Taylor Decker an offensive tackle from Ohio State to hopefully help guard Matthew Stafford. In the second round, the Lions took Ashawn Robinson, a defensive tackle from Alabama. The rest of the draft picks consisted primarily of offensive linemen and tackles, including a center and quarterback from the University of Michigan. Other notable players from Michigan include Willie Henry in round four, and for Michigan State, Jack Conklin went eighth overall. Salik Calhoun, who went 75th overall, and Connor Cook, who fell to the 100th pick. And that's all for your sports. Now back to you guys at the news desk. Here, it's time to buy senior slideshow videos. They are $10, and you can purchase them by seeing Miss Grossnickel in room 501 or getting an order form by the senior bench. The next Kettering Bow Drive will take place this Friday. If you are 17 years or older and would like to donate, please sign up during your lunch. Remember to drink a lot of water and have a photo ID with you when you donate. 
Well, that's all we have for you today, Captains. Once again, I'm Dre Hall. And I'm Leah Lopez. Have a great day, Captains. And force be with you.